It's your boy James Elder, the man of DJ Styles. Not once, not twice, but three times the real one. And you are watching Realistic Fishing. Let's see if we can catch any fish over here. We're going to take this stick and we're going to stick it in the ground over here. Let's see if we can catch a shad real quick and use that as bait. There we go. First cast. Got a shad. That'll make a great bait. Let's get him out there and we'll let him sit on the bottom while we fish over here at the boat launch. Maybe we'll get lucky. And now on to the float rig. We're going to fish live worms under a float just to see if we can get a bite over here. All right, we got our worm on the hook. Nothing on the worm yet. I'm gonna raise my bobber so we're fishing a little bit deeper. Maybe it'll help. Another eight inches. Now we're fishing about three and a half feet. I haven't even gotten one bite. Fish. While I was paying attention to the shad, I got a bite on the worm. It's a small bluegill. Got about a five incher here. First fish of the day, five inch bluegill. Nothing amazing, but I am catching fish out here in January. Now that the sun is shining down in there, can you see them? It's like a silver swirl. This is Daniel with San Antonio, Texas. We're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. You know, instead of a worm, I could try to catch another shad and fish a shad on the bobber. Might not be a bad idea because this worm fishing really slow. There's a nibble. Got him. I was just talking about switching to a different bait and I got another fish, another five inch bluegill. Not bad, not bad. Second fish of the day, fishing fresh water in January. Here we are at the log. Let's see if we can do any better over here. Should we start out with a gulp minnow or a live red worm? We're going to start out with a gulp minnow. Let's see if we can get a bite over here at the log on a gulp minnow. Two small bluegill today. I've tried live shad. No success. I didn't even get one bite. Now we're going to try gulp minnow. Over here in front of the log. I see a school of shad over that way, but I don't see anything chasing them. I might need to raise my bobber even higher. I don't think I'm getting down to the fish. What am I? Wow, skipjack. Did you see him? Let's try for a few skipjack with a constant retrieve since I saw that one chase my bait.
Well, a few steady retrieves and no more bites, so we're going to give up on that skipjack for now. But I might switch my approach, go with a tiny jerkbait or something like that to see if we can at least get a skipjack. But let's get back to fishing the log. Fish, fish, skipjack. He found it, he found it. Fish number three today. Nice big skipjack. Wrestling fans, the Arm Dragon Sensation second generation superstar LT Fog here, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. And if you want some real fucking advice, keep it realistic. Check it out, fish number three. We got about a 12 inch skipjack here. He found my gulp minnow as I was reeling it in, just like that previous hit. Yeah, good fish. Good fish, especially for January. That way, you got it. We've changed things up a bit. We're fishing with a small jerk bait now. Got a pinch on sinker about 10 inches above it just to help with casting, just to keep it down a little bit. Let's see if we can get a bite on this. You'd be out for a few hours today to catch two bluegill and one skipjack. That's how it's going. I'd love another fish though, let's do this. Maybe I'm better off down there in the channel by the log. It's just dead and cold up here. Fish, oh, came off. Wow. That was an aggressive strike. Probably a skipjack. Let's keep trying. Wow. Fish. Here we go. Here we go. Awesome. That's another nice big skipjack. Finally getting some action today. There we go. Another nice big skipjack here. About the same as last time, maybe 12 inches. This is Debbie. I'm in Cat Spring, Texas. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Sweet. Fish number four. We got another skipjack, this time on the Selmo Minnow. Let's do it again. Got him. Oh, he came off. And my lure's in the tree. Holy cow. Well, I don't have to worry about my lure. I know exactly where it is, but I still caught the fish. Check him out. Another 11, 12 inch skipjack here. <laughs> Came off the hook, but I still got him. Let's let him go. Now let's get my lure. 
and we're golden. So what did I get over here? Three skipjack, one on the gulp minnow, two on the Selmo jerkbait. Hey, that's a great way to end the day. Two bluegill at the first spot, three skipjack over here. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.